Hi folks, hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. My website's jasonbursepreacher.com. It's good to be with you. Just a little devotional thought today. And uh, I'll give the full Bible study at uh, some later date. This is a Bible study I've been doing with my mum. Uh, we're meeting every week and uh, we're going through the book of Ephesians. Um, so I'm just going to read. Paul, an apostle. Uh, this is Ephesians chapter 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God. To the saints which are at Ephesus and to the faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. According as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the prayers of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved, to whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace, wherein he hath abounded towards us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he had purposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth in heaven, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, that we should be to the prayers of his glory, who first trusted in Christ, in whom you also trusted after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, after that you believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance, until the redemption of the purchased possession, unto the prayers of his glory. Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus, and love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the kingdom, in the knowledge of him, that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and the riches of the glory of his inheritance in, in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of the power towards us in whom we believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principalities and powers and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come, and hath put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things the church, which is the body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. And I just want to share a, a few thoughts. Uh, Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones said this, If Romans is the purest expression of the gospel, as Luther said, then Ephesians is the most sublime and majestic expression of the gospel. Spurgeon said, The epistle to the Ephesians is a complete body of divinity, in the first chapter we have the doctrine of the gospel. In the next you have the experience of the Christian. <coughs> and he, <coughs> so he says it's a body, a complete body of divinity. <coughs> Excuse me. But here, Paul is saying, the apostle is saying, we have all things in Christ. All the riches of heaven, all the riches of God are in Christ. So you might have a deficiency today. There's something that you want in your life and you don't seem to be getting it or, or whatever. But just remember that you're loved by God. Just remember who you are. You are a son and daughter of the living God. You have been called by God. God has chosen you before the beginning of time and he's lavished you on him, on you his grace and you are a daughter and son of God and you have all things in Christ. So you're loved more than you could ever imagine today. So don't look at your circumstances. Meditate on Ephesians chapter 1 when you're feeling discouraged. And remember all the riches that you have in Christ. God bless you.